2022, Europe saw a significant surge in biovitamin production, reaching around 44 terawatt hours, a nearly 20% increase from the previous year. The biomita market is rapidly evolving, with over 1,300 plants in operation. Despite this growth, biomita remains a relatively untapped market for voluntary corporate buyers, with the exception of the transportation sector, which uses biomita to meet compliance goals. Some European countries offer incentives, such as using biogas and biomita for power generation, which provides lucrative opportunities for producers. Biomethane prices are influenced by factors such as typology of feedstock, sustainability certification, and production subsidies. This makes it challenging for voluntary buyers to navigate this complex market. For a variety of reasons, biomethane is an attractive renewable energy alternative for corporate buyers. Some countries offer supply-side subsidies for biomethane production, which cannot be used in compliance markets opening up opportunities for voluntary buyers. Many corporate buyers aim to use biomethane for zero emission claims under the European Emission Trading System, known as EU ETS, though this is only feasible in select countries with different regulations. Large-scale biomethane use for voluntary disclosures is being facilitated through recent efforts to standardize certificates and ease cross-border trading, as can be seen through the Ergar Certificate of Origin and AB gas schemes. Stay tuned for our next episode, where we will explore charting the biomethane landscape, opportunities and risks. <laughs>